So our wheelie bud, wheelie bud got. <laughs> I've done it again. I've had so many takes where I've said wheelie bud got. Our wheelie good bot um, is actually coming together. There's just a few things left to do. Um, most notably, this servo, servo, this DC motor is in the wrong position. So we can move that. That's not too bad. We go to the move copy tool. We make sure it's set to components. We click on the gear DC motor. Um, and now we can move it in position. I won't use joints for this. I am just going to move it around. So I can rotate it using this handle here. I can zoom in. There you go. Move this so it's not, you know, not going through the, the uh, rest of it. Maybe right. I guess the wheel can be pretty close, can't it? Right here. Okay. I'll check that it's vaguely in the middle. <laughs> uh, there are ways to make sure it's exactly in the middle, but I won't worry about that for now. Um, it looks like this wheel is going through that plastic, but actually it's not. Okay. Now to lock this in position, there are many ways you could do this. For the purpose of this video, we've done so many different fusion features that I just wanted a simple way to finish. Um, and the simple way to finish is to go to the chassis, activate it, make a sketch on this face here, always capture position. Um, and we're just gonna zip tie it. So show you what I mean by zip ties. Zip tie or a cable tie. There we go. You know these things? Yeah, so then we'll just use these um, to attach this DC motor to here. This is not the best way to do it. There are better ways. For example, it could be bolted on. You could even use um, boss holes like this um, and have them, you know, go up from here and some plate attaches, whatever. There are different ways to do it. Uh, you could even use these holes here to screw it on somehow. But I figure to get this tutorial series done, let's just zip tie it. And to zip tie it, we'll need the zip tie to go through a hole here and then return here. If I press escape, I can make these a little bit bigger. I guess they can be quite large, can't they? Actually, they can be huge. Then I can save plastic. Um, it does. The size doesn't matter. But just for aesthetics, let's click on equal, click on this one, and then this one, boom, now they're equal sizes. Um, now let's go horizontal, vertical. This point should be in line with this point, and this point should be in line with this point. Press escape, and, ooh. It's a little bit hard to move things around now. Yeah. You can, um, by the way, double click on a line to select the whole rectangle. Um, actually, it could probably be double click. Doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's just zip tied. Finish. These are just going to be holes, like in my Willy really Goodbot here. So then the motor, in my finished version, the motor will just get strapped in. So let's go back here. So I'm going to cut those out but I'm also going to cut zip tie holes for the USB power bank. There you go. So this is roughly the shape of the USB power bank. So I just need two more, I don't know, slots, I suppose. Go back in here, double click on that. The rectangle, where can they go? They can go, one can go right here, and one can go right here. Escape. Um, to make this all symmetric, by the way, you might be wondering, I can make a line that goes from here upwards, press escape, go to the symmetry tool, and then say that this point and this point are symmetric about that line. And this point and this point are symmetric about that line. Escape. There we go. Finish sketch. Certainly it sounds like my dogs are getting very impatient for this video series to end and to finally have a really good bot. So let's cut those slots out. If I click on extrude, um, there is a problem though, because cut, 
Oh no, I just cut holes out of my micro bit. Whoopsie. Cancel. To fix that problem, right click, go isolate, and then do it. There we go. So cut that, 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 that. Drag it up to cut the hole. There we go. Okay. Ah. Beautiful. So now, is this thing done? I'm just going to show everything again. Or maybe, yeah, right click and isolate all. We'll do the same thing as clicking on all the eyeballs. Um, I think this is pretty much done. Yeah, so this gets zip tied in. You can use a few zip ties that loop around that piece of plastic there. Um, the power bank will get zip tied into here. I won't bother about modeling the power bank. It's pretty simple to model. Um, I just made a rough estimate of the size. You can measure it um, to put that in here. And yeah, this looks great. I suppose one more thing is the plastic is white. So let's press the A key. Press the A key for appearance. Oh, there we go. It just took a while. And now we can apply some... Oh, can you can you hear those dogs? They're very loud. Um, can I make this thing bigger? No. Um, some white plastic. 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 There we go. White plastic. Uh, it happens that we're using PLA plastic, but it will look the same as ABS. So you can drag that onto all the parts we're going to 3D print. The chassis, the wheel... Oh, that didn't work. There we go. There we go. That's the materials. Beautiful. Alright, well my dogs are telling me that this video is done. I hope you've had fun making the Wheelie Goodbot. Enjoy! And I can't wait to see all the cool things, all the cool things that you guys are going to make with these skills. Alright, bye everyone!